like I never left. Another episode of the Part of My Back Show is me, your host, Sebastian West. Follow me on Instagram at underscore Sebastian West where you can check my artwork and all of the splendor. If you don't like when I'm kicking like when I'm spinning, just know you tuned to this. The cloth is different. French cinema. What can I say about French cinema? I got some gems regarding French cinema. And I think this is a gem. The Night of the Twelfth. It's a crime, mystery, drama. And I think I have a knack for watching crime, mystery, drama type of films. I enjoy them besides Blues and Gunsmoke. Don't get it twisted. I do enjoy these sort of films. Now this film, I must say, was very unique. From the opening scene to the ending. Opening scene, I'm going to speak about that. It goes from a girl FaceTiming her best friend to like five seconds later for being burnt alive. So from that point on, you have my attention. All right. Now, what was different about this is that there was no antagonist in the film, like a main antagonist. They weren't any whatsoever. You had two protagonists trying to solve this crime and still, they had no leads. They had no suspects. Well, when they when they did think they had leads and suspects, it led nowhere. Look, like nothing. They was like trying to just make up something. Like let's cre- let's because someone said something. Let's try to convince ourselves that he solved the crime, or because this person had a bad record due to him giving other females. Raccoon eyes, mule kicks, and uppercuts. Let's try to persuade ourselves that he did the crime. He's the one that killed this young lady. So with that alone, it was very unique to me. You know, you have this older detective who's seen it all, done it all. Life is in shambles. My man, just, he's on the brink of a mental breakdown. At insult to injury, his wife is cheating on him with a younger man. He's trying to get her pregnant. They go and get things checked out. Everything's checking off all the boxes. Lo and behold, she gets pregnant within three months of dating son. It's crazy. And you have his partner, the young detective, has no family has nothing stopping him from solving this case. He's fixated on solving this case, right? They give each other a balance, like it's, it's balance between the two. One sitting on done it all, new guy, young guy, trying to, trying to learn from the, you know, the elder statesman, and he's having a mental breakdown, so he's not learning anything, you know? Learn all the wrong things of how, how, how to lose your composure. They interview, you know, different suspects, and it goes nowhere from, like, a a young guy living in grandma's basement, an aspiring rapper, an older guy living in a shed, and the young lad that was giving chicks wheel kicks and uppercuts, and they all had the same story. She was nice. She was clingy, and that's it. They all said the same thing. Every last one of these gentlemen said the same exact thing. So, when you're watching this movie, you don't know what's going on. At least I did. You have no clue what's going on or where are we going. But I'm still interested in the movie because I want to see them solve the crime. The old head is adamant that it has to be the one who has the bad record. So he's convincing the young detective that it must be him. He's sick of it. Time has elapsed. He's tired. He's ready to just, listen, I'm throwing the whole kitchen, everything in the kitchen sink at this guy. Like, he has to be the one. So he goes to the, he's convinced, right? So he goes to the guy's house, break all the rules, punches on son. 
the young detective finds out he's trying to save him from committing a murder. And the guy walks away. The old head just walks away like he said he's had enough. He, he walked away from the case. Mental breakdown, my man get out of the car and walk away. Now he's left to the young the young lad to solve this case. Time goes by, a year goes by, it's a dead end. He gets a phone call, a judge wants to open the case back up. She's funding it because the funds have ran out. She's funding it and she's trying to solve this case because it's compelling to her about a young girl getting burnt alive and it just vanishes. The case just vanishes. The end scene. I'll, I'll talk about the end scene. Right? The ending scene, pardon me. They have a lead. You know, they put some surveillance on a grave. You get some crazy man sing a song to the girl. Never knew her whatsoever. Sing a song to the girl. And that was their lead. They interview him. My man is mentally disturbed. So, yeah. Back to nowhere again. It's an unsolved mystery. The case is unsolved. That's it. The end. Heck of a movie. It kept my attention because I just thought that they were going to solve this case and they didn't. I like those sort of endings. So in that case, this is a 7.5 out of 10 in Sebastian's artwork. If you had the chance, go watch The Night of the Twelfth. It's a French film. Subtitles. Enjoy. It's a great movie. Seriously. I think I might talk about Equalizer 3. I saw that. Um, I think that's it, man. Alright? So remember, slow run is better than no run. If you don't like my reviews, come me some stack. If that didn't get enough, part my back. Never forget that all things be done decently and in order. Tune in for the next episode of Part My Back, Show Life Shift. Subscribe. Meantime, hold it down. I'm out of here. Sebastian West. Salute.